Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. to Teach Me Tech. I am your host, Laurel Gray, and today I'm joined by the extremely handsome Pete Sutton. Pete is the uh, strategy director of Saltwater Collective, which is a digital agency, and he is here today to share with us how to get started on ad roll. Thanks for having me, Laurel. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I don't know anything about this topic, so I'm so excited today. Um, how long have you been using ad roll for? I've uh, been using AdRoll, I think, for about two or three years. Yeah, pretty much since they launched in Australia. The whole mm. reason we got into AdRoll was it was before Facebook actually launched remarketing uh, through their native platform. Yep. And AdRoll was the only exchange partner that actually allowed Facebook remarketing. So that was how we got introduced to it. It was even before the Facebook guys knew oh. about remarketing. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. So there's a lot it sounds like you can do with that role. And what we'll do first is I'll just run everybody through what we're actually going to cover on today's episode. And then we'll just dive right in and you can give the full explanation. All right. So here's what we're going to cover on today's episode. Why you need to remarket your website to visitors, first of all. Why that remarketing is so important. Why you would choose ad roll specifically as your remarketing platform, and, and Pete just touched on one of those points just now. Um, setting up your ad roll account, so the full process of setting it up, make sure that you've got your laptop or a tablet device ready. Understanding the dashboard, how to get your website remarketing ready, and then creating effective display ads because ad roll is quite display driven. Setting up a website campaign will walk you through all of that setting up a Facebook campaign, and then finally conversion tracking and reporting to make sure that you know that you're actually getting results. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm so excited because um, I've heard about AdRoll, but to be honest, there are so many different things as a business owner that you could be doing. I mean, how do you know which, which one to choose, what your budget should be? I'm really excited to cover off on all of that. So first of all, maybe even before you answer why you need to remarket your website to visitors, what is website remarketing? Yeah, it might what be a it? good place to start. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so remarketing covers, uh, if, if someone comes to your website and they don't perform the action you want them to take, so whether the, uh, that be they fill out a form or, or making a purchase, remarketing allows us to serve them with targeted ads across the internet until um, they actually make that purchase decision. So. Um, we can follow them around with display ads, so um, your you very visual ads, um, and search and uh, text ads as, the, as they browse across the internet. Mm, awesome. Okay, so it's not, just, it's not just actual display. You can also do text. You can do text as well, yeah. Cool. Yep. Um, so it's basically if you ever are on a website and then you go to Facebook, you end up seeing that same website but like a little banner ad. That's you what you're you talking about. You will have about. noticed it a hundred times. Uh, the ladies out there will definitely notice that they've been followed around with that same pair of shoes that they've been um, yeah. researching. Um, the guys will get targeted with, you know, followed around with, you know, like getting buff and all that sort of stuff. So yep. um, you see it everywhere but, and, and this is, remarketing is how they actually do it. Yep. Um, and now I always kind of thought um, that it was just for bigger brands, you know, because you always see like larger brands here in Australia that are doing this. Um, but you're it, saying it, it can be for any business. It, it used to be in the realms of the bigger businesses because typically it was quite a complicated setup when you're going through the native um, AdWords platforms um, and back in the day in the, in the Facebook platforms. Um, so typically you'd need a digital agency to actually implement this for you. What AdRoll does is it creates a really user-friendly um, platform that allows small business to be able to uh, implement remarketing on their sites, um, regardless of how much traffic they're getting to their site. Okay, that's awesome. That's really good to know. Yeah. I think, you know, for small business owners, which is myself, um, you kind of get this little bit of like, oh, is my business really big enough to do it? Is it going to have that much of an impact? Yeah. Um, so maybe can you share just um, in general some of the results that you've seen, even for small businesses, maybe one to five employees? Uh, it, it, a lot of it, uh, so there's different reasons why you would um, actually remarket. Uh, so the results 
they can be um, like analytical as in terms of an increase in sales um, and, and an increase in you know form fillouts or, or ebook downloads. Um, but the big one we notice, and it's probably more anecdotal, is the actual brand awareness that it creates. Um, especially when we're working, if we're working with uh, service-based businesses, um, they'll notice that their clients will come to them and say, oh, we've seen your ads everywhere. Um, and, oh. and it makes that <laughs> business appear like they mm. are a bigger, a bigger business than they actually are. Yeah, so you which get, is what we all want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you get, that, you get that brand recognition, that brand awareness. Um, the other thing it does is it allows you to stay top of mind during that sales uh, cycle. So again, it's not just limited to the product type businesses where we can follow them around with a, um, with a pair of shoes. We can keep that brand in front of our customers' mind as they're going through uh, the sales journey, so as they're comparing other brands um, and as they're comparing other companies. Mm. Your brand's going to be front and centre in their mind whilst they're making that decision. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so not just for product-based businesses, also works great for service-based businesses driving traffic or driving um, recall for your customers who are already visiting your site. Yeah, and, and it, does, it does drive traffic back to um, the site. There's, there's two, uh, two ways we measure it in terms of um, people actually clicking on the ads and going back to the, tra um, going back to the website. But another, the, the conversion that actually we'll find works best is called a view through conversion, which is where people are exposed to the ad and then we find them actually typing your website address into Google or into into their browser directly and coming back to the oh, site. So you okay. can see how effective it is in terms of that brand awareness. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so let me just get that straight. You're talking about people who have seen that display ad somewhere and then they have that top of mind recognition to go back and actually remember the name? 100%. And it's a lot more powerful than them just clicking on an ad where they may or may not have that brand recognition. So. Mm -hmm. um, that's where it's that's where it's so effective. Wow, um, and you're able to track all of this using cookies or whatever is happening with Adroll, <laughs> yeah. which you're going to explain a little bit later. You're you're able to see when that's happening. That's right. That right. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can see and we can see um, exactly the return on investment. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, th this this stuff it's not it's not an overly expensive exercise. So mm -hmm. you really are missing out if you're not doing it. Yep. Okay, beautiful. Now I'm just like starting to think, oh, I should have done this months ago, years ago. Yeah. Um, for people that are watching and they're kind of going, all right, well, you've got me sold. I can see the benefits if I'm a service-based business even to do this type of remarketing. Um, oh, I lost my question. Oh, no, I was going <laughs> to ask you, um, how long does it actually take to get started? Because we're going to be doing this like 45, 50 minute long demo. But in practicality, if you were going to be creating your own visuals and everything, is it something you could do on your own, first of all? And second of all, how long would it take if to you're, actually If do you're it? managing your own website, mm. um, you can get the campaign set up in probably one to two hours. Mm. Um, and then the campaign needs to get approved by all the, all the partners. Um, and that will usually take about two days as long as everything's in place. OK, cool. But it's really quick. All right, so it is feasibly something that you can do on your own. 100%. That, that's why these platforms are in existence. Um, cool. So any small business owner who has a, a working understanding of their website yeah. can, can get started with this sort of stuff. And even if not, you just send a bit of code to your developer and mm. away you go. Okay, cool. So don't let that stop you. If you're not sure about the technical aspects or even the design aspects, as we're going to talk about a little bit later, don't let that stop you from getting going because um, it doesn't sound like there's a whole lot no. um, in the way. Of course, you have to get your ads approved, but that's on any platform. No, no, yeah. And there's a, there's a certain, there's guidelines that we've got to follow, but they're pretty easy to stay within, um, within yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, is there anything else that we've left off on for why you'd need to remarket your website? Um, I think I think we've covered everything. It, again, the big thing, just to reiterate, is that staying top of mind during that uh, the buying cycle. Um, mm -hmm. Really good with products. Really good with longer sales cycles where um, people are comparing over a long period of time as well. So that's the the key reason we do it is to to build that brand recognition during that process. Cool. 
Absolutely. How many times have you had customers come back to you after six months of asking for a proposal and then they oh, sign off again? 100%. Or they sign off for the first time. Yeah. Um, and it's like, oh, you just, yeah. it's rather than you staying in touch with them, it just keeps you front of mind. Exactly right. So that's great. Yeah. Um, cool. Now, we already have touched on this a little bit about mm. why AdRoll is a great platform, but maybe you can go into some of the specifics around specifically why would you pick AdRoll versus, I guess, I don't know, going and making your own Facebook ad yeah, sure. campaign. Yeah, so there's mm. the, the traditional ways that um, people remarketed was through an agency. Um, mm. the, the first platform was the AdWords platform, and it's really complicated to set up. Mm. There's, um, so you, you'd need to basically be AdWords certified in order to run a remarketing campaign. Mm. Um, yeah, it's tricky. <laughs> we'll talk more about that later. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other, the other reason, and a really significant one as to why we use AdRoll, um, is that you don't have the minimum um, visitor requirements that you do get with uh, AdWords. So with AdWords, you've got a minimum list requirement. You need 100 people uh, to visit that site before, you can, before your ads will actually start serving impressions. Mm -hmm. Um, with AdRoll, because they're, they're um, congregating all, that, um, all their inventory, um, they don't have those minimum requirements. Mm. So you can literally get your campaign up and running straight away. Um, that's, a, that's a big one because some yeah. sites, they might be niche, um, they might not have that sort of level of traffic, and then using the Google platform just probably isn't going to work mm. for them. Um, yep. I don't know. I just had this example pop up like Reiki therapy for dogs, you know. Is that, <laughs> I don't know. Is that like, like that wouldn't have the reach that you normally could get on AdWords, especially if you're targeting a, a quite a specific location. Obviously, it needs to be done in person. Exactly um, right. Is that where you're Yeah, and, and, and also the smaller businesses, maybe you're not paying for your traffic, so you're not getting those um, those sort of numbers through, but that shouldn't mm. be stopping you from being able to remarket. Um yeah. The other big one is more a management side of things. So you've got your consolidated campaigns. Um, so you can run your Facebook retargeting in one in the same uh, platform as you're running your Google um, as as you're running your Google campaigns, oh, and you can see okay. all that reporting oh. in the same platform as well. So you're not having to go and install you know a hundred bits of code on um, all your different pages of your site. Yep. That's, okay. That's uh, awesome. To continue enjoying this presentation, download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today.